everyone, Coach David here with Metro Jiu-Jitsu, and today we're talking about why grapplers get hired, and I wanted to bring on our coach, Jimmy Sawula, because uh, we were having this conversation a while back. He's our wrestling coach, one of our blue belts. He's been coaching, and he's been wrestling almost 15 years, and uh, and so he's a man in a pretty high up management position in his work, and uh, so he does a lot of hiring, a lot of hiring, and um, pretty much like every week they're hiring people, and, um, and so we were just talking about... Uh, he's like, yeah, man. Uh, we were t- talking about the benefits of grappling, and he said, "It's a real, he's just real, very direct." He chooses his words carefully. He's like, one of my cardinal rules is if someone's got at least a year of grappling experience, I'm gonna hire them. And I and I was like, what, like, like what? At what age? He's like, it doesn't matter. He's like, if they got. He's like, because if they actually wrestled and they, uh, or, or did jujitsu or whatever, and they grappled for a year, that teaches work ethic, that teaches when your face has been ground to the mat, you get back up, that teaches what it means like to respect the people, not only on your team, but the people who aren't on your team. That, that teaches what it's like to take adversity for a very, very long time and keep going through it until you uh, until you overcome that. And then he pro- he proceeded to go on to stories about his um, his. I should I really should I should see if I can get a live a live testimonial or a, or a video of him. But he uh, he proceeded to tell us a story about how he was um, he was in a wrestling match and he was the, actually the captain of his wrestling team for many years. And then you know he it came down to a match and a, it was a poor ref's decision. He threw his headgear almost at the assist, assistant principal, and then they, of course, pulled him out. And then his coach that year, uh, his coach that year, all of the officials from his school took him into the opposing team's locker room where he had to publicly apologize for his behavior in front of everybody. So that's not only the importance of grappling, and I asked him specifically. I said, so is it like just the luck of the draw of whatever you know coach you get? He's like, yeah, it differs. He's like, it varies, you know. Um, so it's not only the the sport, but also the coach. And and I've said this for a long time. I think people believe it's a line. I think I don't think they actually believe it. But uh, but jujitsu, um, and uh, we've had so many people get promotions. So many people get raises. I think one guy, individual, one of our recent blue belts, he's on like his third promotion since he started training with us in like eighteen months. And because what that teaches, I'm telling you, that focus and that work ethic, there's, there's, it's, it's like a, it's like an atmosphere, an aura that people can just tell off you. Like that guy's motivated. He's in the zone. He's here to get some stuff done. He doesn't waste time. He's not, he's not coming to work to chat about what you did on the weekend for two hours before he actually starts doing something productive at 1030. He's a right, right away. He's getting the job done. And so all of that and we teach the same with the kids and so all of that benefit all of that benefit it's not the same you notice he didn't say if they played football everybody's played football if they played basketball everybody's played basketball like like that's what we tell our parents this is not this is not something that everyone knows how to throw a spiral i don't by the way this is not like oh you played a little bit of soccer so you know how to coach leave the coaching to the coaches and watch the results come Guys, I'm Coach David with Metro Jiu-Jitsu. As always, I'll see you on the mats.